morning, you guys. So welcome back to the C-Squad, and happy Labor Day. So we have a really exciting week happening in the pumpkin patch. Now, if you guys have been following us, um, you guys know that we started growing our pumpkin patch in mid-July, which is kind of late, because again, we have never grown pumpkins before. Um, so if you came to this video for any kind of real informational purposes, I'm gonna need you to stop and go to somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. <laughs> but this is our pumpkin patch. Um, so it is sunrise on Labor Day. As of yesterday, we started having female flowers open. So I thought it'd be really fun today to do a video with you guys showing you how we pollinate female flowers. You wanna come help me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, let me kinda of just show you guys the patch a little bit and show you the difference between male flowers and female flowers. Um, so first, when you grow a patch, um, the male flowers, they're going to bloom a few weeks before the actual female flowers bloom. Um, so let me show you, Eli, can you do me a favor? Can you bring me the shears? All right, so I'm gonna show you one of the male flowers. All right, so this is the male flower. Um, they are very long and tall, and they do not have anything on the bottom of the flower. It's funny though, I've never really seen pumpkin flowers before growing pumpkins. They are orange, just like pumpkins are. Um, so you can see what the male flower looks like. Let me see that. This is just hiding in the back. All right, so let me see these shears, please. So I'm gonna cut this off, just so I can show you guys what it looks like. So we're gonna get in here, and we're just gonna snip that off, okay? All right, so again, this is the male flower. So no bulb on the bottom. Now I'm gonna show you the female flower. Hold that for me, please, sir. All right, so this is a female flower. So you're gonna be able to see, let me get in here and show you. Because again, we have never grown pumpkins, so we didn't know anything about it. So you can tell the difference with this flower. Look how short it is. Hey, come here. Bring that flower over here. Put it right next to this one. Stand it up right next to this one. It's okay, your feet can get wet, no worries. And show them how much taller that one is than this one. So hold it down. So you guys can see, again, the male has a really long stem and nothing on the bottom. The female, however, let me try to turn this camera. The female is very close to the ground and it has the baby pumpkin right here. So if you look inside the female, the female basically, I mean, it's just like humans, you guys. So you got your male with his, you know, stuff. And then you got your female with her stuff. But what I wanna do before we pollinate, now what I'm gonna try to do is this is, I think we have, how many do we have, Eli? We got 13 plants, I think. So what I want to do is I want to try to get a male flower from this specific vine. Because the male flower that I took off was from a different plant. Um, but before I do that, hold that for me, please, sir. Shivering, cold in the morning. I want to take you guys actually in it. And I want to give you an idea as to the size of these leaves as well. Look at my hand. So I'm six feet tall. And that kind of gives you an idea as to how big these actual leaves are. The camera doesn't really show you good justice, but I'm going to get in here. Now you kind of got to walk through. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like from the inside. Because it's actually really cool looking. Alright, so we're going to get in here. Now, pumpkins are very heavy feeders. Like, you gotta water them a lot. So check it out. So this is inside. So you can see the leaves are very tall. Pumpkins are very quick growers. They grow secondary vines. They grow what's called tertiary vines, which come off of secondary vines. So another flower right here. 
obviously you guys can tell this is a male because the females have what looks like would be a little pumpkin underneath. All right, so now we are going to pollinate mama bear. You ready to pollinate this flower, baby? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pause this and come back, walk my way. Actually, you know what? Let's kind of walk our way out and show you what it looks like as you're walking out. So you kind of have to like step easily because you don't want to be squishing everything. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna chop off a couple male flowers and we're gonna come back over here and we're gonna impregnate this lady right here. Actually, you know what, you guys, I lied. We have two that we need to work on because if you look right under here, we got another hidden female right here. So I'm gonna open this up so you can kind of see. There it is. So you guys see the baby pumpkin right there? So cool. All right, so we also have to we also have to do this one. All right, so we'll be right back with some cut male flowers. All right, so we've picked a bunch of male flowers. So what we're gonna do, let's just take this one right here. So the first thing we're gonna do is all these leaves, we're gonna rip them all off, okay? Now, that's gonna leave us with just the stamen of the male flower. Now here is where you're going to be getting all of your pollen. I can actually probably pull oh. this back a little bit farther. So what we need to do, Eli, is we need to take the pollen from the male flower and put it on the female flower. Okay. And that will create the pumpkin. So let's walk on over there and we'll meet you guys over at the female flower. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we are at the female flower. Now, what we're gonna do, it's very easy. We're just gonna take this male flower, we're gonna take the pollen, we're gonna rub it. Here, let me whip this off so you guys can see it more. Okay, we're gonna take the pollen and rub it all over the female flower. Okay, inside, all around the edges. You basically just wanna get all the pollen off of the male into the female. And this is what's gonna create your pumpkin, if it, if it pollinates. So I use two of these. So that's the first one. Let's do another one real quick. All right, so number two, we're basically just gonna repeat the process. So we're gonna take all of the pollen off of the male. We're going to rub it all over the female. Now again, we are not farmers. We're just doing this for fun. So if you came here for, um, you know, real specific knowledge on gardening, definitely stop, right, Eli? Go yeah. to another channel with people who actually know what they're talking about. We're just trying to show you our fun little pumpkin patch in the backyard. All right, so at this point, we've gotten all the pollen onto the female flower. Okay, so you see all the pollen on it. Is it yellow stuff the um, pollen? That yellow stuff is the pollen. So now what we want to do is we want to close this flower up. Now, the reason we want to close the flower up is because we don't want bees to come and pollinate it, basically cross-pollinate it with a different fruit. Right, Eli? So we want basically, you know, uh, the most natural fruit that we can get. Um, and by doing that, we're going to get the best pumpkins. That we can get and then we can also use the seeds if we want to grow pumpkins next year so now let me show you guys what i do um pumpkins have take that eli pumpkins have these right here um so this basically is useless you can cut them off it kind of just helps the pumpkin figure out where it wants to go it's like little tentacles that they, that they use so what i'm going to do so I'm going to cut this off, and I'm actually going to use this part of the plant to tie up the female. So I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, kitchen shears, or not kitchen shears, just some normal gardening shears. So what we're going to do, show them this, Eli. We're going to cut off this little tentacle right here. Okay? And that gives us this. 
So now we're actually going to use this, walk on over here, and get on down and show them the female. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these petals now, I'm going to close them up, because I don't want any other critters getting in here, and I'm going to take the tentacle, I'm going to wrap it around the flower. Will it still grow? Yeah, it will still grow. Hmm. And I'm going to do a nice little knot. Oh, that broke, so let's try it again. People use bags. People use other kind of ties. I'm just trying to use what I can use that we won't have to get anything for it. Okay? So then you're just going to give it a little tie. Cool. Just like that. So at this point, no other bugs are going to be able to get in here. And hopefully within the next week, it'll be a pollinated pumpkin. Hmm. Alright, so we have just one other female that we're going to pollinate today. But I do want to show you some of the other ones that are growing. Just to give you an idea as to kind of what they look like before the flower opens. Sometimes they are yellow. And then sometimes, depending on the variety, they are green. This kind of shows you what they look like. Um, now, once you... Now again, this is all stuff that I'm just Googling. Once you pollinate the pumpkin, uh, it's about... 45 days right Eli it's about 45 days yeah, until 45 it becomes a pumpkin days. so that's gonna take us from when we pollinated the first female which is this one right over here that's gonna take us to October 21st so right in time for Halloween so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you guys are loving the pumpkin patch as much as we are all right we're so excited for Halloween we're ready for the fall. School starts when? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. School starts tomorrow. So everybody tell Eli, have a good day. First, first day of second grade. We hope you guys have a great Labor Day. We're going to keep working on the patch. We're going to keep giving you guys um, some updates over the next month. It's going to be a really exciting month when it comes to growth for the patch. So if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns down below, let us know. We love hearing from you guys. So if you have not already, hit the subscribe button, slap the notification bell, give us a little bit of love, comment down below if you have ever grown pumpkins, and we'll see you when? Next time. Next time. Bye, guys.